Welcome to today's video lesson on Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Eddie. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on stoichiometry, where I'll be solving different practice problems that will help us understand this concept better. But before we go over to the practice problem, we need to understand some symbols, okay, basically quantities, they are symbols, and also units, okay? before we start solving problems and different formulas that will enable us to understand this concept better. Now you can see the first quantity written on the board and it is called mass. What is the symbol of mass? It is basically m. And what is the unit? The unit is grams or you say kilograms. That means mass which is small m is measured in grams or you say kilograms now talking about molar mass it is basically m m molar mass now what is the unit it is basically grams per moles now for molar concentration the symbol is c and what is the unit it is basically moles per dm cube or if you don't say moles per dm cube, you can say moles per liter. Now, talking about mass concentration. And what is the symbol for mass concentration? It's given as P. And basically, the unit um, is grams per dm cube. Or you say grams per liter. Where for volume, it is basically V. And um, the unit is measured in cm cube, or you say dm cube, or you say liters, where for amount, basically, the symbol is n. And n signifies numbers of moles, and basically, the unit will now be moles. Okay, so these are some basic symbols that will enable us to understand this concept better, and these and this quantities, okay, mass, molar mass. Uh, molar concentration, mass concentration, volume, and amount. So, there are some formulas that relate both of these quantities. So, basically, I'll be giving us the formulas and also solve different problems on stoichiometry of various reactions. Now, these are some formulas that will help us understand stoichiometry. First thing first, you can see the symbol N basically is number of moles. And it's given by various formulas. You can see the first formula, mass over molar mass. And the other, number of moles can be given as concentration times volume over 1,000. Same number of moles can be given as PV over ROT. What is P? P simply means pressure. What is V? It means volume. T, temperature in Kelvin scale. An arrow is called the molar gas constant. It is not called the rate constant, but called the molar gas constant. Now, basically, this molar gas constant, which is arrow, um, has different constants. Now, but two important constants must be noted. The first is 0 0.08205, while the other is 8.314. So the question asks itself, when do you use this constant? This constant is used whenever the pressure is in atmosphere, ATM, and it is also used when the volume is in dm cube. Now, when is this constant used? It is used whenever the pressure is in Newton per meter squared, or you see Pascal, and also, it is used whenever the volume is in meter cube. So, you can see when these two constants are being used. Now, number of moles can also be number of atoms over Avogadro's constant. Now, for some calculation purpose, number of atoms can also be called number of molecules. Now, in the question, they can ask calculate number of molecules the same as saying number of atoms for calculation purposes. Now, number of molecules basically can be 
number of particles. Okay, number of particles. So basically, these are some other terms used to replace number of atoms, basically in calculation purposes. And lastly, number of moles is given as volume, or in dm cube, basically at STP over 22.4 dm cube. Now, you, it must be noted here that number of moles, basically, which is concentration times volume is cm cube over 1000. Now, this formula can also be concentration times volume in dm cube now when volume is in dm cube we don't divide by 1000 so we just say divide by one but if for this whenever the volume given is in cm cube so volume in cm cube what happens to this it becomes 20,400 okay 20,400 cm so basically the volume up here and also this value must be in the same SI units. Now you can see how problems under stoichiometry and basically um, formulas to be noted are being arranged. Now let's quickly move over to a practice problem. And it must be noted that both of these formulas can be related together in a particular question. For instance, since number of moles is mass over molar mass, same number of moles is concentration times volume in cm cube over 1000. Now you can see number of moles equals both. So it means that both formulas can be equated. Same as this, same as this, and also same as this. So you can see how these formulas are being used. Now let's quickly move over to the first question. Now let's quickly move over to this practice problem that will enable us to understand this concept better. Now first thing first, the question says calculate the number of moles. Basically, they are asking us to calculate number of moles. So what are we actually looking for? N of calcium chloride. Calculate number of moles of calcium chloride. And this is the chemical formula of calcium chloride that can be obtained from 25 grams of limestone, which is calcium carbonate, CaCO3, in the presence of excess hydrogen chloride, which is HCl. Now, if you watch the question carefully, it says calculate the number of moles of calcium chloride that can be obtained. So basically, calcium chloride was obtained. So it tells us that it's going to be in the product side of the reaction. Now, from 25 grams of limestone in the presence of this. So it means that limestone, which is CaCl3, reacted with HCl. So let's write the equation. Equation. Calcium carbonate, CaCl3, reacting with hydrogen chloride. HCl. What will be the product? The product is going to be calcium chloride, which is the compound obtained during the reaction, plus H2O plus CO2. Now, the equation must be balanced when it comes to stoichiometry. So, to balance this equation, we had Two atoms of chlorine here, so basically we're going to put two here, so basically become two atoms of hydrogen, two atoms of hydrogen, oxygen here is three, oxygen here is three, one plus two, three, carbon is um one, carbon here is one, so calcium is one, calcium is one, so the equation is balanced. Now, let's actually relate. Now, stoichiometry has to do with relationship. So the question says, calculate number of moles of calcium chloride. So, we are looking for the number of moles of calcium chloride that can be obtained from 25 grams of limestone in the presence of excess HCl. So it means that they gave us parameter for the limestone, which is 25 grams. So it means that we are just relating calcium chloride with limestone. We have no business with other reactions, especially now. First, the reaction must be balanced. So we balance reaction. So let's bring both of them down. 
So one mole has actually yielded one mole. So we say one mole of CaCO3 yields one mole of calcium chloride. So bringing it that we just say one mole of CaCO3 is going to give us one mole of calcium chloride. Now, now, for the calcium chloride, they give, sorry, for the calcium carbonate, they gave us parameter for the calcium carbonate, and it is 25 grams of calcium carbonate, which is limestone. Now, we can put 25 grams here, yielding X moles of calcium chloride, because it, 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 it cannot match, because here is mole, here will not be mass, which doesn't make any sense. So basically, it must be in the same SIU. Here, basically, will be in moles. Here will be in, be in moles. If we wanted to use gram, we put gram here. Okay? So basically, here, which is one mole, is going to give us mole of calcium carbonate from the question to give us X mole. Basically, what we are looking for, for calcium chloride. So we're going to convert this, this gram to number of moles. So N becomes mass. Now recall, it is mass. And what formula has mass? It is number of moles, which is mass over molar mass. Now first, let's calculate the molar mass of calcium carbonate, CaCO3. What is the atomic mass of calcium? 40. What is the atomic mass of carbon? 12 plus oxygen, 16 times 3. We had Three atoms, so basically you get 100 gram per mole for the molar mass. So basically, the number of moles of calcium carbonate become 25 grams over 100 grams per mole. Grams cancels grams, so we have 0 0.25 mole. Now we bring this here, so we say 0 0.25 mole of CaCO3 because it is. CaCO3 has the gram, so it's going to give us X mole of calcium chloride. So basically, we cross multiply. So X mole of calcium chloride becomes 1 times 1 mole of this over times 0 0.25 all over 1. So it becomes 0 0.25 moles of calcium chloride. So basically, this is the answer to the question. So you can see how problems under stoichiometry have been tackled. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching.